Time does the gentleman two minutes. yield? Two minutes. The gentleman from Nebraska is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I want to thank the chairman and the ranking member for putting this great legislation together and navigating the, the ship to a good spot. And I appreciate the opportunity to serve on those, on those two committees. I rise today in strong support of H.R. 8070, the Service Member Quality of Life Improvement, and the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2025. The 2025 NDA prioritizes the service members and the military families who dedicate their lives to, protect, to protecting and defending the United States by making their quality of life the cornerstone of this legislation. The bipartisan bill includes a targeted 19.5% pay raise for the junior enlisted, improves basic needs allowance and housing allowance, supports military spouse employment, and makes necessary investments in military housing, child care, and schools. I'm extremely proud of the hard work and oversight conducted by the Bipartisan Quality of Life panel that I had the honor of chairing this past year to address all these critical issues impacting our service members. By voting for this bill, each of us had the opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to the all-volunteer force, the foundation of America's military strength. In addition to supporting service members and families, this year's NDA also makes strides in bolstering the United States' offensive and defensive posture in cyberspace. It promotes innovation. It makes investments in critical technology areas like biotechnology, quantum and artificial intelligence, and secures our sense of military research from adversarial interference. This year's NDA also advances critical partnerships between our universities, military service, and combatant command, including the United States Strategic Command and the University of Nebraska. We want to develop the next generation of military technologies. These partnerships are critical to developing the scientific and technological workforce and talented pipelines needed to secure the United States' technological edge now and in the future. We have a strong NDAA. It's a bipartisan bill that supports our service members. It modernizes our fighting force and ensures U.S. forces are well-equipped to fight and win for competition to conflict. I strongly encourage my colleagues to support this bill. Now you'll back.